Hey guys, welcome to today's video and if you're new, welcome to my channel and if you are a long time subscriber, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be trying out the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. Well, I will be trying it out, that is. Um, I need a new primer, I need something that's hydrating, but yet kind of makes me matte still and doesn't give me texture. I know I'm asking for a lot right now, but uh, that's pretty much my criteria right now. So uh, hopefully this this works out well. So before we get started with the video, I would highly recommend you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That would definitely, definitely help you out to give you notifications when I do upload a new video. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up as well if you like Urban Decay or if you like the primer. And if you have tried it, please leave a comment down below so I can read what your opinions are on it. And of course, follow me on my social media handles and let's get right into the video. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the details about this and uh, throw in some clips every now and then to kind of show the demonstration, the feel and all that stuff. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. And with this, it's supposed to be helping the foundation last long and it's supposed to help grip it as well. So this primer is supposed to help prep, smooth, and hydrate. This also retails for $42 Canadian, of course. And I believe you get one fluid ounce in here. What is it? Yeah, so you get one fluid ounce. Now, when I first unboxed this, um, I was really surprised that it's in a tube, but it has a pump as well. And what this is supposed to do is, once again, it's supposed to prep smooth and hydrate, but it's also a lightweight formula and it's supposed to leave the skin lift looking hydrated and slightly lifted. Um, the consistency of it is quite different than what I'm used to. It kind of feels like a moisturizer cream type of uh, consistency rather than your traditional um, kind of silicone-y um, primers or anything like that or, or sometimes a little bit more lotion. This actually feels like a cream to me. So I was a little taken aback at that. It also claims that it lasts all day. It's vegan, it's cruelty-free. So we will see if this actually lasts all day or not. Um, hard to say. So when I did apply it, it definitely felt like a moisturizer, like a cream. It didn't feel thick or heavy. It was very lightweight, so that was really, really good about that. And one pump really sufficed for like the whole face. So it was really, really good at that. So after applying the primer and going in with the foundation, it actually applied very smoothly. And I also applied a second foundation, a different foundation for my T-zone, only because I like it more mattifying. And I also saw that it blurred out very, very nicely. It, it didn't fight with the primer or anything either. And the foundation that I was using was the uh, Lancome Tant Edel. So it definitely worked well with the primer in terms of like not skipping or anything like that. So once again, when I applied the foundation, everything was good, nothing was skipping. So no complaints there. Um, so now we're gonna fast forward to the evening and let you guys know my thoughts and opinions after that. Okay, you guys, I feel a little silly today. So, first of all, it is now 6.42 and I did do a check-in, kinda. Um, so, as I was doing the check-in and recording and, and everything, I just went about my day. And then, turns out, I pressed record after the fact. So, I did not record anything. So basically in the check-in, my pores were still looking pretty good and I started to see like kind of this glow, this hydrated look and I wasn't, I didn't hate it. Like I was preferring it to be a little bit more matte but do keep in mind I'm out for 12 hour days so a little shine is expected but again I was hoping for it to be a little bit more matte. It wasn't that bad. My T-zone got a little bit oily or a little, a little glow and then my cheeks, it looks fabulous but the t-zone eh, it was kind of getting to that point so now at 644 uh, taking a closer look at this the primer still looking pretty good my and by the way the check-in was around 3 30 uh, when I was doing it so about three hours later I can still see this like nice glow to it but it's kind of back and forth between like oil and glow a little blotting would help that right up but Personally, for me, I would like it for it to be a tad less glowy. 
but that's just my opinion on it. My forehead's it's looking okay, but once again, I would like it to be a tad less glowy because I have an oily T-zone, like I said, and with an oily T-zone and a glow, it just doesn't really look right. Um, so if it was just a tad, like, just a little smidge, like, less glowy, I would love that. But I don't hate it right now. It still looks pretty good um, for a 12-hour day. I also noticed that like even though my pores looked very blurred out and everything, um, it did. There is a bit of breakage around the sides of my nose here, and on this side too. Um, it didn't settle in my smile line, so that's good. And it definitely smoothed out my skin beautifully. Like it, it. it it gave a nice look to it. I would definitely recommend this around the winter time when it's drier because it definitely hydrates the skin, it smooths it out nicely. Compared to other primers during the winter time, it will give a lot of texture. So this during the winter time, I would definitely recommend it. I don't know how it is during the summer time though, um, even though this is a all nighter primer, but during the winter time, I think uh, this would work really, really well in terms of hydrating and especially my uh, drier skin and gals right there. Um, for a combination skin, I don't hate it, um, but I wouldn't really go for a 12 hour day uh, with this as well. I, even with like my T-zone and everything, I used a more mattifying foundation as well. So the fact that I still kind of look a little bit more glowy than I would like after a 12 hour day, not a big fan of it too much. Um, it's nice, but again, I keep emphasizing this, just a little notch lower f f uh, f for the glowiness. So overall, I don't hate this. I would definitely recommend you guys giving this a try. It definitely smooths, it hydrates, um, it basically kind of filled in my pores too. So it did definitely deliver all of that. But again, 12 hour day, maybe not so much. But my foundation still looks pretty good though, I'm not gonna lie there. So I'll definitely continue to test this out with other foundations to see how it works. But as of right now, I'm still kind of like on the fence with it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Um, but I do say to try it out if you guys are curious about this as well, because it does look pretty nice. But I think it just depends on the foundation that's combined uh, with the primer that's probably throwing it off a little bit. For me personally, I'm a little bit picky. but. That's just me right now. Uh, so hopefully this helps. So anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoyed this review. It was, I'm kind of like mixed feelings about the primer. I'm like, I kind of love it. I kind of don't love it, but I'll definitely still try it out. And maybe I'll give an update like in the description later on in the week or something like that. And just let you guys know what's up because again, I'm kind of like on the fence with this. I'm like, great that you smooth everything out that you hydrated, but I don't know about this or not. I don't know, I'm once again, I'm a little picky with my primers and everything like that. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And before you leave, make sure you check out these other two videos right here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.